Finally, after weeks of work, it's time to test the new double bogey wagon on the new railway. Except straight away I realised there was a problem. I'd made it to fit wheelbarrows longitudinally. There are troughs for the wheels and cross beams for the legs to sit on. And a couple of pallets tucked in next to the trough worked fine as a loading platform. This is a plan view of how four barrows should fit on. But the problem came at the other end. It's too awkward to unload them forwards because you can't get at the front one's handles properly. So they need to be backed out. But the platform can't be tucked in close to the troughs this time because the wagon with the sticky out cross beams has just gone past it. I could have worked that out in advance if I thought about it, but of course I hadn't. Now some have suggested that the wheelbarrows should have cross beams attached to their legs instead, but then they'd be more wobbly and the legs would still foul the platforms. So I had to go back to the beginning again. If the barrows were arranged like this instead, there are two new challenges. The first is that instead of being in the bottom of the trough, the wheels and the legs and everything would be sitting higher up on top of the girders. And that would raise the centre of gravity a lot. And wheelbarrows already have a really high centre of gravity. So is that going to be a problem? I don't know. But before I could even experiment with that, there was a more immediate snag. The horizontal top bar I added to make the frame rigid was now too low and I couldn't get the wheelbarrows underneath it. There was nothing for it but to weld on some extensions. So I did that. This time, when I put it back together again, I flipped the girders over. At least I'd given myself that option when I first made all this. this way up they are much stronger and less likely to buckle. So there are pros and cons whichever way you do it. The top bar isn't attached permanently, it's just held in place by the weight of the load. So it's easy to take apart again for storage. Later on, I figured it was safer to pull the wagon on this steep bit in case you slip over and it rolls back over you, which wouldn't be pleasant. Arranging the barrows this way means that the handles stick out sideways a lot, which led to the next snag. I trimmed some more of the willow tree, but I'd rather not take it out altogether, but the handles only just pass, and that's with the barrow positioned well over to the side, so perhaps it's easier just to reverse the wheelbarrow and move the platform to the other side of the rails. So let's try that. By then, some friendly volunteers had turned up. <laughs> Good practicing. Yes. Val and Pierre Eric. Thanks, guys, you were great. Pierre Eric and Val. Hello. Is that right? <laughs> they work really hard if you put the camera on them. <laughs> Let's try. Yes, try. Good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Maybe in the middle, no? 
Maybe. Okay, are we ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm, I'm so excited actually. So <laughs> I love it. So we're going to push. Push? Push and, and pull it at the end. Yeah. Because at, only at the end it gets fast. Okay. We try just one wheelbarrow first and ran into another snag. Oh, Someone left a gate bit. post in the way. Uh oh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Technical problems. Technical problems. With only one barrow, there's plenty of room on the platform, so we tested the run anyway. Onwards. It doesn't really take two people to push it. Yeah. We were all keen to join in. Okay, Pierre. Worked fine, so we tried two next, back to the original side, hoping to squeeze past the whomping willow. Yeah. Brouette. <laughs> yeah. Brouette. So, how do you say two? Brouette. Deux yeah. brouettes. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Pour cette fois-ci, deux brouettes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which we did. Yes. Ooh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Great. Let's see. Okay, so three, three wheelbarrows. Three times. Trois boîtes. On our next trip, though, this time with three wheelbarrows on board, we hit more snags. Lots of teething troubles on this project. <laughs> but it got there in the end. Hang on a minute, I'll tell you. It was a good job I had some strong help. Yeah, careful. Find your feet. <gasps> wow, that's fantastic. So good. good. Attends, attends. Ah. Vas-y, attends, attends. What's happened now? Oh, uh, the, oh. this one. Has something happened? It's short. Just here. Vas-y, go. 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 I don't know, it's something still. Oh, I, well, I understand. The front the wheel has come off. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. And derailment? Yeah, derailment. Oh no. Just try. For some reason, I hadn't finished welding on one of the wheels. How <laughs> have I had forgotten? And the welding tacks had just snapped off. Easily fixed, though. This is, uh, this is just not about good. to, yeah. Okay. Oh. It's good? It's good, yes. yeah. Carefully. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the tree out. Yeah. But I while no one was watching, the tree had moved a little closer to the rails. Oh. Oh. A quick zap with the welder and all was well again. And after that, we did what we should have done from the beginning. Move the gate post. No, I mean, move the railway. Unlike most railways, this sort is very flexible, which is handy. So finally, we had a snag-free trip. 
except the platform at the bottom was on the wrong side. So that was good. Very good. Yeah, but we yes. need to we had to move all the wood. Move all the yeah. wood here. Yeah, that's okay. And then, after messing around for an hour, we could finally test the full load. So, how many wheelbarrows do we have in French? Quatre. Quatre brouettes. Quatre brouettes. Actually, the original plan was for five or six wheelbarrows and to use the horse to move the wagon. But with this smaller version, it's easy enough to move it with French people power. The rope seems the safest and easiest way to slow it down. And just like that, it glides gently down to the platform. <laughs> After all their hard work, of course I had to let Pierre, Eric and Val have a go on the red wagon. <laughs> Though Val <laughs> might regret his attempt at the luge. That was all very well and good, but could I do this on my own? Which is sort of the point, really. Putting the empty wagon up the hill was the hardest part, but still quite manageable. And pushing on the level is easy, really genuinely easy. Hooray for railways. Just don't let your poo train get any speed up, that's all. Over a longer distance, this wagon will make more sense, but even now it does save a lot of journeys. And this year, we'll need a hundred wheelbarrows loads for the garlic. If you are interested in learning more about the garlic and how we grow it, there's a whole playlist on our other channel. Link in the description.